Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will discuss about template matching in OpenCV. So first of all, what is template matching? So template matching is a method of searching and finding the location of a template image inside a larger image. In OpenCV, uh, there is a method called match template for achieving this purpose. So let's get started and let's see an example about it. So I have uh, this simple code which just loads this image and let's see uh, what this image looks like. So this is uh, the image and this is the messy image. And what I want to do is I want to uh, match the face template which I have which uh, looks like this which is the smaller template which is also available inside this image so this will act like a template for us and we will try to find this template inside this larger image so let's get started and let's see how we can uh, search this template inside this larger image so First of all, what we need to do is obviously we need to uh, load this image and also load our template. So before uh, loading our template image, I'm going to just convert my original image, which is the larger image into the grayscale image. So I have declared uh, this variable gray underscore image and then I'm going to just say CV to dot cvt color which is going to convert my image img and let's convert this image into cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray now let's load our uh, face image which is called messy underscore face uh, dot jpg so i'm going to just change this name mercy underscore uh, face dot jpg and this will be our face image or you can also say uh, this is a template and i'm going to also load this image as a grayscale image so i'm going to just pass the second argument in the read method as zero which is going to load this messy image as a grayscale image now in the next line we will uh, simply uh, use this method which is called match template and we are going to uh, save it into some variables so we can just say res is equal to cv2 dot match template which is this method which takes few argument first is our image so i'm going to pass our grayscale image here the second argument here will be the template which we are trying to search inside uh, this uh, image. So this will be our template. The third is the method. So the method can be uh, a several method. There are several methods available for the template matching. So I want to show you these method for the template matching. So you can see a uh, type of template matching operations and there is separate formula involved in order to match that template inside that image so so for now we are going to use this method which is tm underscore c coef underscore normed dot tm underscore c coef uh, normed which is this method now let's try to print this uh, result and let's see what uh, is the content inside uh, this result so i'm going to just print the content inside uh, this uh, result which we got so i'm going to run this code and this image is loaded but for now we are interested in uh, this uh, array matrix which you are seeing here so you can see when you observe these values carefully you will see uh, all are relatively uh, smaller values so uh, you can see uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 almost uh, every value is around uh, until 0 0.3 so the maximum value i can see here is 0 0.3 
so let me just show this image once again and the the template also so what this result contains is uh, these all values and there will be one value which contains uh, the number for example 0 0.8 or uh, uh, the brightest point okay so if here this uh, uh, matrix contains a value which have the value 1 it is the brightest point and it will be there inside this image after applying this match template method which will be around this point at this point at which uh, this template matches so top left corner of this template so at the point at which this left top corner of this image will match inside this large image there will be a brightest point there and that brightest point will be reflected inside this uh, image in the form of uh, this uh, decimal number and all the other values will be slightly uh, darker darker values okay so that's how uh, this matrix from this matrix we will come to know the, the top left corner of uh, the template inside this larger image. So now how can we uh, filter out that value which is the brightest point inside this matrix. So all the points uh, you can see looks like uh, under 0 0.3 but there are some points here you can see three dots and there are thousands and thousands of uh, values uh, will be available here all the values are not printed okay so what we are going to do is we are going to try to find out the brightest point so this we can uh, find out with the numpy method uh, there is a method called where uh, using which we can find out uh, or filter out those values which are greater than certain number so I'm going to uh, first of all uh, declare a variable called uh, threshold is equal to I'm going to declare the value of threshold initially as 0 0.8 which will be a relatively brighter point uh, inside the matrix which we are getting uh, using this result uh, uh, variable right and then there is a method called uh, where numpy where so i'm going to declare once again loc variable and then np dot uh, where method and here we are going to pass our uh, result which we got and we are going to filter out using uh, this expression so this will be a boolean expression so i'm going to just say give me all those values which are greater than or equal to the threshold inside this result matrix okay so this where method is going to uh, just evaluate this expression each and every value will be evaluated and if this value inside the matrix is greater than 0 0.8 which is our threshold then it's going to uh, give those values to us. So let's print out those values after the filtering out of uh, most of the values and let's uh, just print this loc variable also. So I'm going to run this uh, code once again and uh, you can see here this is the matrix which we uh, got. So you can see this is the array which we got. So still we can increase this threshold in order to find out only one point so there are several points available here so let's say i'm going to increase uh, this uh, value to 0 0.9 and let's run this code again and you will see only two points 85 and 220 so this is what we were expecting so we wanted to find out uh, this point which will be the brightest point uh, inside this uh, result matrix so once we got the brightest point uh, which will be around uh, here which will be the top left corner as I said of this template and it will be located somewhere here in the original image then we can draw the rectangle 
uh, around this original image uh, same as the size of this template. So this will be uh, the easier task because we already know the width and height of uh, uh, this template. We already know how to get the width and height of uh, this template and same size uh, rectangle we just want to uh, draw on this original image. So let's see uh, how we can do this. So there is already uh, a method. So I'm going to just declare two variables width and height and uh, you already know uh, the method. So template dot shape is going to give you the shape of uh, your uh, image, right? So I'm going to just say template dot shape and then inside the square brackets we are going to just give uh, two colons and uh, minus one. This means that we uh, want to get the column and the rows value in the reverse order. So width and height. That's why uh, I have given this minus uh, one index here. Now in the next step, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, just draw all the rectangles uh, where the template is is matched. So uh, by seeing this uh, template image and the original image, we know that there is only one messy face inside this image. But let's say there are several number of uh, uh, matched templates inside our original image. Uh, for that, we need to iterate over uh, the result, which we got after applying the filter on the result. So for that, we are going to uh, just iterate over that result. In our case, as we know that there is only one point, uh, so uh, we don't even uh, need to iterate over it. But if there are multiple number of uh, matched templates, then this uh, for loop will be uh, handy. So for uh, PT in your uh, uh, loc variable so we are going to just say the zip which is going to iterate over this loc variable so asterisk loc and then we are going to find out the width and height here also so uh, we are just reversing the x-axis and y-axis right so we are going to just uh, say colon colon minus one here and then uh, once again inside this for loop so cv2 dot uh, rectangle method and the first argument here will be our original image because we want to draw the rectangle on the original image the second uh, argument will be the first point of the rectangle so the first point will be uh, this one pt which we are getting using the loc uh, uh, variable. So as you all know that the first point here will be the top left corner of the rectangle and the second point here will be the bottom right corner. So how can we get the bottom right corner? We will get the bottom right corner using this pt uh, variable and then on the zeroth index we are going to just add the width comma on the first index so pt uh, square bracket first uh, we are going to add the height okay so essentially we uh, have just found out the width and height of our template and we are getting the second point using this addition on the first point width and height so it's going to give us this uh, bottom right uh, corner of uh, this template or this point. So this is how we are getting uh, our two points to draw the rectangle. Now the third and fourth variable will be uh, simple, which uh, are the color. So you can just say 0, 0, 255, which will be the green color and the width, let's say two here. So we want to give the width two here. So let's run this code and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run this code and you can see uh, this red uh, rectangle is drawn 
on the face of the Messi and you can s here also see this rectangle will match our template image so whatever uh, image is inside this rectangle will be uh, exactly same as our template and once again you can see the result uh, let me explain uh, this code once again so if this point this threshold will be uh, uh, point 0.08 let's say in the case of point 0.09 threshold we are only getting two values uh, this 85 and 220 right that's why we are seeing the clear rectangle here when we uh, are uh, giving the th threshold 0 0.8 here let's see what happens so i'm going to run this code once again you can see there will be uh, this rectangle but it will be much thicker why it's uh, much thicker because we are getting several number of values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we are getting the nine points on the x-axis and the y-axis so this for loop will iterate nine times and this rectangle will be drawn nine times on the image and that's why this uh, rectangle is much thicker let's uh, uh, just change this value to 0.9 once again and you will see this rectangle is uh, you know the single rectangle that's why it's uh, much thinner right now uh, when you give this value let's say we give the value 0 0.3 so most of the point as you can see here have the value 0 0.3 and when we run this code you will see so many rectangles here so that's why this thresholding is essential for us to find out the brightest point or the value which have the maximum uh, value right so that's why we were filtering out uh, this these points and finding out uh, the values more than 0 0.9 threshold and uh, about the methods so let's uh, try different methods so let's try to uh, give different uh, methods here these two methods uh, behave a little bit differently so uh, we can uh, start with uh, this uh, tmcorr normed and uh, we can apply it here and it's going to give us uh, this kind of uh, result you can see we are getting uh, several uh, points here after filtering so uh, let's try to uh, increase this value to 0 0.95 and let's uh, rerun this code and let's see what happens so now you are getting uh, four values uh, you can uh, also filter that out let's say 0 0.99 now let's see what happens so now you are getting only two values okay so you need to uh, try to change this value to the maximum point so try to change this value and you will uh, get uh, this kind of uh, rectangle only one rectangle so every method is going to give you different uh, uh, result and that's why you need to uh, try all the result not all the result will give you the perfect uh, rectangle or template matching so you need to try different methods uh, on your uh, images so, so this is how you can uh, do template matching in OpenCV I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video